as we all know, 2020 was not a year that I don't I think anyone expected, but I did still want to do a video reviewing kind of um, some of my goals from 2020 as well as sharing with you guys some of my goals in the upcoming year, 2021. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here though, my name is Hannah and I upload beauty videos. This is not a beauty video, but my normal videos are beauty videos. Um, I would love it if you stuck around and subscribed. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I know that I say that a lot and I know I've said that recently. I don't know, like don't just tune me out from saying that because I do really appreciate it if you do give this video a thumbs up. Um, I'm further away, which is weird. I might scoot up a little bit later, but I just wanted you to be able to kind of see how this shirt looked, but I do feel very far away from my phone. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video discussing goals. I am a very goal-oriented person. I just, I love having goals. I feel like I'm goal-driven. And so that's just why this is something that I like to do and kind of evaluate what I did for the year as well as um, some goals setting up into the new year. I mean, doing this, I feel like I need to go this way. I don't know, this whole setup kind of confuses me sometimes. The first goal that I want to talk about is reading. And I meant to count up how many books I read before starting this video. I think I'm on my 16th book. I feel like that's correct. So very much like completing things on a slight tangent. That's why I like empties videos because I like the like think the task of finishing something that's also why i mean i'm not saying i'll all i'll never have an e-reader but that's also why i really like having like reading physical books because you can kind of you can see you know an actual place where you're at in the book and just yeah i like reading physical books but also now i kind of want to bring up um a couple books to show you as an example of some of the books that i read this year because i do love learning in 2021, I do have that goal as well. And for that, so for 2020, my goal was to read 12 books, to read one book a month. Sometimes I read more than one book in a month. Sometimes it took me a little bit longer than a month to read a book, but I'm trying not to be too hard on myself. But in 2021, my goal would be to read 18 books. Okay, so I did just go count and I'm currently reading my 17th book. So I feel like my goal of 18 books, I don't know, but then I feel like if I'm, if I do a goal of 20 books, that might be too much. So I'm going to play it safe and steal with a stick with a goal of 18 books. So I just brought in a few of my examples. Um, actually, no, not all of these I got from thrift stores, but three of them I did. And then one of them I got from my dad. I don't know where he got that one. Um, but the first one I read, like not the first one from the year, but like as an example, I like reading biographies or this would either, this would be considered an autobiography, I think, but this is Gifted Hands and like I definitely got it from a thrift store, I don't know. So BAM stands for Books A Million, I think, right? Um, but yeah, this was Gifted Hands. This is Ben Carson's story. Yeah, I, I really liked this book, so I was really excited to find this at a thrift store. I also read two books by Spencer Johnson. I read Who Moved My Cheese and The Present. Both of these can be read pretty quickly. I feel like I am someone who kind of reads a little bit slower because I really like to absorb what I'm reading. Um, I do love learning. Like I know I've already mentioned that, but I just, I love learning. And then another book that I want to mention that I got at a thrift store was Kirk Cameron. This is also an autobiography. So I like mostly reading books that um, are nonfiction. So books that I can learn something from, like, um, would these be considered? I don't know what these would be considered, but books like Who Moved My Cheese, like where you can like learn a lesson or autobiographies from people that I find interesting. I think that these are pretty good books, so I would recommend them if you're looking for some recommendations um, for 2021 on some nonfiction books, I'd recommend those. The next thing I want to talk about that was a goal of mine in 2020 and a, definitely a goal going into 2021 would be being in nature more. I believe how I worded it was I mentioned that I wanted to be in nature at least once a month and I didn't reach that goal. I know mostly because I have not done that in December. I'm filming this video towards the end of December and also I feel like December is kind of like a harder month to be in nature anyway. I mean I know I do live in Florida so it's not like it gets super cold but I was in nature like a good amount of time. Uh, I feel like so I did do pretty good with that goal, but I think that that'd be another good goal to set up as well going into the new year to be in nature at least once a month. I seriously feel so recharged. If you follow my Instagram, which I will leave 
you know, the name right around here. And of course it'll be linked in the description box. I feel like, I, not that I post all the time, but most of my posts are in nature because I just, I love it so much. I love trees. I love trees. So um, if you're going on like a walk with me, because Florida doesn't really have hikes, we've discussed this before, it's a pretty flat state. But if you're going on a walk with me in nature, you need to allow me a lot of time to just like stand and stare at trees and be like, wow, do you see this? This is beautiful. Especially like if the trees and water and also is also involved. I'm gonna need a little extra time to stare because um, we went to Ponce de Leon Springs, which was one of the places that my best friend and I went. And in um, the spring, you, they have like this tree, this huge tree. I mean, there's different trees, I guess, underwater, but you can see like the root system in the water and it is just so cool. And I just really love it. And it's just really cool to see the things that God has created. These goals aren't in any particular order because the next one is a big purchase that I would like to make in 2021. And this is a big purchase for me, but I would like to finally buy a camera so I don't have to film on my phone anymore. Filming on my phone, obviously I think has been fine for all of this time, but I've also very much wanted a camera to film on. And I've been doing YouTube for about two and a half years now. And it is something that I still like to do. So I would love to get a camera in 2021, but um, I am going to need to kind of, you know, save up for that and that kind of thing. So, but that is, I guess I would consider that a goal in the new year. Also, I'd like to set up my office more because I feel like I have kind of like the basic shell now. I do love that I have a love seat and I have my TV, I have my desk. My desk is like one of my favorite things from this year probably. I found it and I purchased it but then my parents reimbursed me because it was my um, birthday present for turning 26. <laughs> anyway, but I love my desk. I love the organization. This room is one of my favorite rooms in the house. Here we are in a tangent again but it just it makes me so happy and I love being in here. Um, but I guess for this coming year I would like to decorate it even more like putting things on the walls and just kind of making it more complete, I guess. I do like like the basic setup that I have so far. I would also like to kind of finish setting it up more so that I would, you know, just find this even more inviting. A big thing that did happen in this year was that um, I moved. I did a whole video on that. I lived in the same house for about 20 years. Now I live in this house. I have an empty house tour that I've mentioned as well. I will also link that for you guys. Another goal that I had for this year was to do my devotions more consistently. I can't remember exactly how I put that. And I think I have done fairly well with that, but that's also something that I would like to continue going into the new year to do my devotions, can keep doing it consistently, if not even more consistently, just because I think that that is something very important it's very important to spend time with the lord also something that my mom and i were doing there for a little while but then we've kind of haven't done it much lately is walk with our dog milo because it's just good for quality time and just walking around so i would like to pick that up in 2021 i'm not going to necessarily set a goal i don't think but i guess walk more consistently like i don't want to do like i want to walk five times a week because to I don't think I don't think I want to do it like that, but um, I do want to walk more consistently for sure. That is something that I think would be good to get into. Another thing going into this year is I want to really be adamant about not giving in to my anxiety and OCD. I know that that's just kind of general, and I have spoken about that a little bit. Um, I have you know also done a few videos on I guess my mental health. Um, just dealing with my anxiety, OCD, and then I did have depression there for a little bit. I did a little mini series a, a little while ago on that, and that is just something that I want to continue to not give in to my anxiety and OCD. And yeah. What is one of your goals or what is your biggest goal for this coming year? I would love to know. Please let me know in a comment down below. Also commenting on my videos also helps. So I would greatly appreciate if you comment and I love commenting back and kind of, you know, chatting with you guys. And once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Also, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to stick around and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Wait, if you liked this video, I will also link this video for you right here for you to check out, just click right there. And okay, now thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.